here with UFC bantamweight Manny Bermudez, who just picked up a big win against Benito Lopez at UFC Fight Night in Phoenix. And Manny, you are on some kind of roll, man. That's six submission victories. How are you? How are you getting this done? When I got to believe your opponents know what's coming in there. Uh, I don't know, man. When I see an opportunity, I go for it. Um, you know, some some guys they'll, they'll take a slow, methodical pace in their fights. I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to fight fast, fight hard. Uh, get right to the point. You know, there's no point for us to be in there, uh, you know, t taking big hits for, for a long period of time. Just go in there, get at it. If you, if you, if you go down doing it, oh, well, you tried, you know? Well, it's funny because, you know, we, we say to knockout artists, don't look for the knockout because then it doesn't come. You know, let the knockout come to you. You have a completely different approach when it comes to submissions. Huh? Yeah, life's a sprint, not a marathon. <laughs> so, great night for you, obviously. I think the only thing that didn't go your way this week was the weight cut. You missed weight uh, for that bantamweight limit. What happened there? Did you have, was there something specific reason why you missed weight, or what was the deal? Yeah, no, we were just trying out a different method of how to do it. You know, every time you just want the easiest weight cut possible. And, uh, you know, we messed up. There's no sugar coat in it. We messed up, but professionally, you know, I've never missed weight before, and we just thought, you know, this would be a good new new way to try it out. Uh, it didn't work our way, and I, you know, I, I really do feel bad for Benito. I feel bad for his team. They were they were all irritated during the you know during the weigh-ins, obviously as they should be. But uh, you know, we did everything in our power to make it work. What did you think about the 30% fine? Were you okay with that? Or it... yeah, of course. I mean, it's my fault. I missed weight. Uh, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't be made held accountable for something I did. So, you know, like I said, hats off to Benito. Uh, I'm sorry again uh, to Benito, Alpha Male, Sean Shelby, all the guys. Because, you know, it's, it's it's terrible news to hear for a matchmaker, too, and a promotion, and people acting as unprofessional as that. So. Yeah. And I can feel you, I can tell you feel genuinely terrible about it. This will be the last question I ask. It's a little bit of a personal one, but it just makes me, me wonder, you know, you guys on the undercard, you're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars. It had, had you lost tonight, not gotten a win bonus, also lost 30%, would you have even broken even on this fight? Uh, you know. Like we all, we all do it because we love it. We all do it because uh, so <laughs> like, like we do it because we love it. I've fought you know like 11 or so pro fights. I fought a bunch of amateur fights, not making enough to be able to do stuff like this. And you know I, I feel for Benito too because he puts he, you know he works hard. He's he's new to this. He, he's probably not making it. You know like not, now with the whole percentage thing, I, I think it's a little bit more even for him. But you know if, if there wasn't if that wasn't happening you wouldn't be making a lot of money. And uh, it's a lifestyle for all of us, and we're, we're doing our best. Thankfully, UFC gives us a platform to, to you know, do what we want to do. And uh, it's double-headed coin, though, because the, the guys that really want it are going to go for it. They're not going to care how much money they make. So I think in the UFC, you truly find the best athletes, the ones that are, that are willing to sacrifice it all, go for broke, so. Well, you use that platform very well tonight. What do you want next after this? Another first round finish? Oh, <laughs> I always want a first round finish, man. Uh, you know, I'm looking, I, I think I said it already, I'm looking for Sean O'Malley. Uh, that, that's a little bit more of a financial thing. You know, he's a big name, uh, young superstar. So I think being able to put me against him would be uh, beneficial for everybody. <laughs> It'd be a fun fight. I, Sean's been walking around here tonight, so maybe you can uh, tell it to him personally, huh? Yeah, don't, don't hit me yet, Sean. <laughs> well, congratulations on the win, man. Great, great performance.